This video is going to be super helpful if you're an outfield player who wants to learn new ways to dribble and pass, or even if you just want more variation in your playstyle. Some of these combos can also be used as shots, so bear that in mind. I'll be giving you the keybinds, tips for learning them, and different uses for each one. You guys showed a lot of hype for this video, so here it is. 10 useful outfield combos for TPS Ultimate Soccer. Let's start off with a simple one, the curved tackle. It's the same as a regular front tackle, but it'll curve. The keybinds are simple, it's shoot release followed by tackle E. You can change the curve to a traveller or a knuckle if you like. The more you charge shoot, the more the ball will curve. This combo is good for getting around opponents and it's very good for regaining control of the ball from an opponent if you're both running in the same direction. They generally aren't expecting the front tackle to curve which gives you the edge as you know where the ball will go. It shouldn't be too hard to learn and it's very helpful if you know how to use it properly. Sticking to the theme of forward tackles, we've got the high tackle. This is similar to the curve tackle but instead of the ball curving, it flies high and forward. To perform a high tackle, it's long Z followed by tackle E. You can make it curve by releasing long right before the combo. This combo is perfect for passing to your teammates who might just be behind an opponent. It can also be used as a shot in some scenarios. The high tackle has more reach than the high kick, which is what makes it useful in some situations. However, the high kick can go much higher and much further, so we'll talk about that next. The high kick is like if you got a regular high shoot and put it on steroids. It sacrifices some speed and distance for a big boost in height. The keybinds are long release followed by shoot Q. What makes this generally superior to the high tackle is that you can choose how far you want the ball to go by charging along less or more. You could use it to pass to a teammate that's just behind an opponent in front of you or you could use it to cross all the way into the box when taking a corner kick. I personally prefer this to using high shoot because it's much more consistent and easy to time. The power slide tackle is one of the first outfield combos most players learn. As the name implies, it is a result of adding more power to a regular slide tackle. The keybinds are long Z followed by left click on tackle. It's one of the most popular combos for defending and passing as it can easily take opponents by surprise. Just a side tip, the sooner you touch the ball in the sliding animation, the further forward it'll go. Keep this in mind when learning to aim it well. It is possible to use this to shoot on rare occasion, however don't expect to score that many goals using it on a good keeper. Next up we have the high flick. I know this one's a big reason a lot of you clicked on this video. It looks hella cool when you see a high level performing a chain of high flicks down the field. To perform a high flick, it's long Z followed by tackle C. You have to do it quite fast, which might be a struggle for some players. You won't be able to get anywhere with a high flick until you practice it enough to press the keybinds fast. Let's say you've practiced it and you're pressing the keys quickly but it flies forward. This means you're touching the ball too early in the animation, so before your leg has even come up. To fix this, you should swing your leg around to the ball after you've pressed the keybinds, so that you touch it when the leg is fully up. You could also jump so that your fully extended leg comes down on the ball, which also works. In terms of its uses, you can use this to avoid having to dribble low-level players regularly. It can be confusing for them when the ball's flying up every second. If you're against someone who can moss well, however, this won't be a good idea as their head will reach the ball before your leg. It's also good for setting up your own moss when you're in the enemy's box. Remember to zoom out when using this combo so you can see where the ball will land and control it again. After that, we have the... I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm just going to call it the sidekick. The keybinds are long Z followed by dribble G. It doesn't curve and it's sort of easy to do, making it great for passing to your left and delivering through balls. You could use this as a shot, but it's not that fast, meaning there are better options. Next up, we've got the straight flick. It's very good for surprising opponents as they won't expect a rainbow flick to send the ball flying forward making it viable for both passing and shooting. The keybinds are long Z followed by dribble N. You can make it curve by releasing long before the combo. Since the straight flick doesn't curve by default, it's great for sending through balls to your teammates. The quick side pass is one of the most common combos used by intermediate and expert players. Its simplicity and speed make it great for passing and it could be used for scoring goals too. The keybinds are long C followed by pass C to send it right, or you can do long Z pass Z instead to send it left. Since it doesn't curve, it's easy to aim as well as being low risk. The speed is consistent, making it good for players who are just starting to get into combos. 
The fake drag is almost identical to the previous combo, but the animation looks different, making it good for confusing opponents. The keybinds are long Z followed by pass X, or long C and left footed pass X for the other direction. It can be awkward to press the buttons, so it will take a bit of practice before you're able to do it consistently in matches. There's also a certain problem where the ball will fly in the opposite direction sometimes. I'm not sure what exactly causes this, but just be wary of your surroundings when using the fake drag. And finally we have the sombrero, which is exclusively a dribbling combo, and probably the trickiest one on this list. It's a nifty trick for getting around your opponents when you're air dribbling. The keybinds are dribble V plus dribble U. Remember that the ball should be in the air when you try a sombrero, or it won't work. And by in the air, I don't mean it has to be that high up. You could literally just do a dribble G so that the ball comes up off the ground a bit, and then do a sombrero and it will work. And yeah, just remember that, like, you gotta do V plus U, and then just give it about a third of a second before you actually touch the ball. That'll be all for today, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and check this one out next. Thanks for watching.